Hey, all right, guys. Um, I before I go any farther doing anything, we need to uh, work on the cover. Yay! Okay, so this is what I have left that's large enough to do anything to help with the cover and the inside front and back. Um, so that is, these are going to be used for the inside front and back. Um, and this is the outside. This is going to be the front. This is going to be the back. Am I right? No, wait a minute. No, I have one more. I have one more sheet. So let's see. Yeah, so front and back. And then I have this sheet with all of these on it. So I'll put that to the side. So, and um, I, I, for my birthday, which is next month, but I got a, what do they call that? A Sizzix Pro. No, not the Sizzix Pro. The Sizzix Plus. Big Shot Plus. And it does not up to nine inches. So I was able to, um, let's see, I got a, uh, where are you? Where are you? Here you are. I got one of these big folders. I have been wanting to be able to do this for I don't know how long. So I I've, I've picked up one and one came with the machine and it's polka dots, which will be nice to have. But um, uh, anyway, so I thought that would go perfect with with this book. So I did cut my spine at nine inches by five and three eighths. So that is the piece that I'm going to have cut my um, cover my spine. And it does come um, over the edges. Uh, oh, an inch or so. I got a pencil mark on here. Um, and that is 22.8 by 13.6 centimeters. Just so those of you that have been kind of utilizing those um, now, you can make it come out as wide as you want. Uh, that's just how wide I thought I'd, I would want that. Uh, I did pick out some lace, and I have enough to be able to do um, on the cover and put little tidbits inside the book. Because if I use something somewhere, I, I like to at least incorporate it in the book somewhere too so i don't know it just makes sense to me that you don't just have some i mean on the cover you know but uh it, it, it can be a little different so anyway okay um now this side whatever side i use i will have the other side to um to use for tags so uh you know i'm not i i don't have to think about that one so much um, and I am going to have the gray showing and I'm going to do something else with this green paper as well for the cover. I can see I did not, I took off my nail polish, but, uh, I, I didn't do a great job. <laughs> I wasn't in a lit room when I was doing it. So, <laughs> anywho, um, so let's just get started here now. I am not going to cut this all the way to my um, the fold in my uh, to my spine um, because I don't I don't need I don't need to do that because I will have this white paper um, covering that section. So and I want to use as little of the paper as I have to. So I think I'll pull it out so I have about a quarter of an inch underneath the white paper and then I'm going to uh, get my cut from there so let's cut right here and let's cut right there all right and I'm going to make this cut first so that I have this uh, amount of paper to um to play with because I am going to need this. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so I hope y'all stay tuned to see what I'm going to do. 
I've not ever seen anybody do it before, but I've kind of got another idea on the spine that I want to do with these little buggers. I made three of these in a with a light pink paper and it's just um it's just out of that like cereal box or whatever that I told you that um I I thought we were going to use. So I've got that and I have um yep. Yeah, I have this piece which I will um cut another I just didn't know what color I wanted to do it yet and I do have this tidbit of butterfly that I'll put in the center. Uh, I think this will go on the back of the book though. And um, so we'll, we'll get to that later. Anyway, okay, so I, this is a piece that I'm going to use for later. So don't think you get to use it. If you're following along with me doing, doing exactly what I'm doing. And there we go. And we get this little piece, which uh, I do not, I, well, I probably could use it, but we're going to hold on to that too. All right. And uh, it's just a titch. Is it titch too long or is that just right? I'm, I'm going to take off just a smidge. I didn't actually get it right to the line. I got it a before the line. So we're going to take that bit off and I believe then we will be peachy keen. I'm just having a very small edge all the way around just so you can see that gray a bit. Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> Erase my little pencil mark. Okay, so I've got that one cut and now this side uh, I think I'm going to use the top because I like having this at the bottom, I believe, um, to use it a little better. And this is a little brighter pink up here and then get softer. And I kind of like to have that on the back of the page. So I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to take this strip off though. I'm sorry. I thought I had all of this prepared, but I didn't liar liar pants on fire <laughs> okay put that in with my school scraps my scraps okay so here is where my back cover and spine meet and let's figure out make sure that I don't short myself too much because I do still have quite a bit to do and I'm going to leave I'm going to leave myself this one um, closer to three eighths to a half inch just so I'm not going to really limit you know when you when you because I will put um, uh, score tape on this and you know when it's down it's down and I don't want to leave it so hard for me to make sure I I get it all in the right spot so I'm gonna leave a little bit more it's about about three eighths instead of uh, a quarter and again I'm going to be looking for just a little bit a little bit of an edge all the way around and again I'm going to cut this first and then I'll cut this so I hope everybody's staying safe and staying healthy we are uh, I know I've been talking to you about my um, son and his house and we are back on the market for a house again. Um, there was just way too much. Way, way too much that that house needed. So we... Now this we can put, because I'm not going to be using this, we can put this over to, to be used. Open and available. Uh, so we are back on the house hunting track here and 
we start again tomorrow. So yeah, we were all a bit disappointed, but you know, when the, there was um, some foundation work and um, the chimney, let's see, how did I do? How well did I do? The, oh, not very well at all. Oh my goodness, what the heck did I do? Uh-oh. Well, huh. That was not good. That was a horrible cut. Horrible, horrible cut. So now, I guess, I can't use that. I guess I'm going to have to use this. Because uh, that was horrible. I'm sorry, guys. I do apologize for that. Let's see. Let's do it this way. Hi, Bay. Oh, boy, oh, boy. But now I need to figure out... Okay, let's get this where it lays. Let me lay this down here. A little even on both sides. And so... Yeah, I'm just going to cut right at the top of this and I think I will be fine for that and well I wonder if it's the paper or the book if I straighten it down on the back the side is off let me see if this paper is square which you guys have got to remember that not all the time is your paper going to going to be square not all the time. Um, so it, it is a little off. Not quite as much as... Let me go ahead. I'm going to take the strip off of this one. Oh my goodness gracious. It's always something in it. But that's okay. We can work past all that kind of stuff. Um... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get this straight and I'll be right back. Okay, I had two sides that are off, but I've got it now. So I've got, I'm going to cut here and then I'm going to cut this. And that will leave me at least these pieces that I will be able to use on that. And a strip of this and a hunk. All right. So let's cut. You always want to think while you're when you're figuring out what you're cutting, especially when you have to really take a good look at reserving paper, what you want to do um, in order to be able to utilize what's left to the best of your ability. All right, so let's cut right there. I'm being pretty finicky right at the moment, so I'm sorry it's taking me a moment. Okay. So, oh man, that is much better. Much better. Yeah. Perfect! And then I've got this little bit that I can use as well. Okay, so we've got the front and the back, and we have the spine. But first... We are going to flip the book over. I'm going to put these off to the side because I had to make sure that I had that before I did anything else. So I am going to take these and put them off my table. And I want this in the back. So I'm flipping my book around. So this is my front with nothing, no seam on it. Okay. Um, so now... I have this and this, and let's see, page one is this one, and the pink will definitely look much better with page one, and I have just enough to make it work, and I'm going to take... Uh, let's see. I believe I had... Mm, where'd it go? 
Where to go? I got that. Uh, I thought I had a piece of gray paper saved, but I don't see where it is. No, that's green. There it is. Um, I am going to... Well... No, that... It, this paper is so thick that I don't really want to do that. I think I'm going to have to use some of my decorative paper there instead because the cardstock I'm using is so very thick. So this looks like it might be large enough to work off both sides. Yeah. So I'm going to cut here and here and um, then I'll figure out my and then that will take care of covering up our whoops and of course it falls to the ground okay so we've got a nice piece of ye uh, pink yellow I almost said yellow um anyway back to the house we um We've got five or six to go to tomorrow. I actually don't need. There we go. Um, so you know we'll we'll be back on track. And if you all want to know how big a piece this is, it is four and three eighths. And then I will make it um, just slightly less than nine. Um, well, actually, I want it the same size as these so I'm just going to line these up let's see yeah right there and make a mark put that back and that'll give me a nice little pretty piece for something Okay, so let's see where we're at with this. No, still, still a titch too long. Titch too long. And I don't know why I wanted to make it the same as the outside cover, because it needs to be the same as the inside cover. <laughs> Guys, I just don't know what you're going to do with me. We've got so much going on. And I did not get a chance yesterday to get in here at all. So I was really feeling like I was missing out yesterday. Getting to come talk to you and just be in my happy place for a while. Okay, so that's good. That's where we're going to go with that one. Uh, Do I want this to go? No, I want this to go under because that will help hold it because then I'm going to add my pages to this. But I am going to ink the top and the bottom so you don't have to do the sides because nobody's going to see it. And this will give me a little bit of extension I need to make my other papers work as well. So, all right. Um, first thing I want to do is kind of center it side to side and boy does that look crooked what the heck let's see hmm Okay. All right, let's get it side to side. So I'm going to put a line down this side and a line down this side. So when I go to put it on, get it down low. When I go to put it on, I've got something to follow. I'm just putting it on the black 
So now I have a following line. And I am going to use a wider score tape, but if all you have is the quarter inch, it will work. You just be at it a little bit. Um, I actually have wider than this, but, or if you have your uh, uh, permanent adhesive on your, um, if you have a larger, uh, yeah, Xyron machine, you could, you could do that, but um, I still think the score tape for this kind of application, when all your weight is going to be on this, which side did I want? It doesn't really matter. You're not going to see much, but I think I want that side. Um, I still think that score tape for this type of application is, is key because you don't want this going anywhere. Nope. Nowhere. And you don't want it to hang off the end. So, um, I would say to scissor cut it. Just make sure you're not cutting your paper. Butt it up. And remember not to stretch. Do not want to stretch your paper. I mean your score tape because it will it will uh, cause your paper to um, to buckle a bit. Okay. And if you overlap them a smidge, you don't have to really worry because uh, the, the, the score tape backing will come off, um, come out from underneath. You just, you know, you know, you have to be a little, a little careful with it, but, and now I am going to go all the way to this end. And then I will fill in with whatever size I need there. I, I was getting a little nervous cutting it from the other side, so that's why I'm flipping it over and cutting it. Okay, so that's done. And again, I'm just using that to make this go a little quicker for you guys. Um, and yeah, the quarter inch will work just fine. For right in here. There we go. Okay, burnish it very well. You don't want any air pockets in there because the air pockets could eventually start drying out by getting lint and, and whatever else can get in there. <laughs> um, so yeah, you do want to make sure that you burnish this. Take an extra moment and burnish this really well. Okay. So let's get this down so we can get things started here because I got some, uh, I think, some pretty cool ideas. I've been working on this idea for a while, uh, and I think y'all are going to like it. I hope. I hope I like it. Never done it before. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me. This might take a little longer because there might be things I have to figure out as I as I come across them that maybe just didn't come out in my brainstorming. Because I do, most of the time I at least have a direction I'm going. Okay. So, now, I'm going to flip this over because I want to make sure I have the top looking the best. And the bottom can be whatever it is. So I have, right, and I'm right in between my lines, and I can, I think, I didn't push, come on, I want to move it down just a little bit. What am I doing here? Nope, you know what, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. It's not worth it. It's, it's a little high on the top. And a little low on the bottom, but that is okay. I'm not going to take a chance. 
Okay, now let's find our crease. And remember, that's all score taped in there, so it it is going to help to make a nice uh, thing in there, a nice little um, yeah, curve in valley, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and find your crease. Get all of that paper so it's going in the right direction as we close it up. Okay, so there we go. And that is one reason I made sure we left approximately a quarter of an inch because, you know, we're gonna, we, we've got a lot of paper stuck in there. Uh, now for the next thing, we're actually going to put our pages in. So, page one, I just had what to do with it okay page one I just had you right here okay um, so this is page one and I am going to let's see I had a uh, I'll be right back okay so I did a lot of figuring trying to make this work the way I wanted it to and this is the same as the spine I've got here so it's a three inch spine or 7.6 centimeters and so I have uh, I'm gonna make a mark at three eighths one and one eighth one and seven eighths and two and five eighths all right so let's get our rulers out you want to do it both at the top and the bottom and you just need to make a little mark okay so three eighths i'm going to make a little dot right there at three eighths one and one eighth one and seven eighths and two and five eighths okay and then we're going to go back up here and do the same thing. Get it on the marks and then three eighths dot seven eighths. Oh, no, no, sorry. One and an eighth. Oh, that doesn't want to erase. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so we're going to go three eighths. And I'm going to make that bigger. One and an eighth. One and seven eighths. Two and one, two, three, four, five eighths. Okay. All right. And for centimeters, we have uh, one centimeter. 2.9 centimeters, 4.8 centimeters, and 6.7 centimeters. Okay, so there's that. Now, <clears throat> let me move all of this off to the side. So the first one we're going to do, uh, I'll get score tape on this and put some glue on it. You're going to get it going side to side, evenly, you know, top to bottom. And then you're going to lay it right on those two marks. And that will be your first one. And the flap is going towards the back of the book, okay? We're not putting it going towards the front. We're putting the half inch hinge going towards the back of the book. So let's go ahead and get score tape on here. I'm going to use an eighth inch right next to the quarter. And then I'm going to use glue on the outer edge and that way I will have both types 
working for me. Let's burnish it down really well. I am always so excited when I'm putting the book together. Oh my gosh. This is always where it really starts uh, coming together and you can see your work. And it's just so cool. And I'm so excited to try all these little things out that I've got. And I want to neaten this because I'm seeing. So I'm lightening those circles a little bit because I don't want them to show. Let's get the glue the glue going it had a whole day off yesterday so let's see how well it's wanting to perform so i'm going to put glue right at right below the score line i've got just a little piece that doesn't have any score tape on it and then i'm going to put it around the edges So then I make sure those get down too. And we're going to fold it towards the back of the book. Center the page top and bottom. And lay it down on the line, on the dots that we made. Take your time. Okay, now this is really important that you get this straight because, especially the first one, because everything else is going to be working off this. All right, so now we're going to get page two. And this is page two. Now this one we're going to have the hinge facing towards the front of the book. All right, so yeah, a little different, a little different, and I'm also, these pages are so heavy that uh, I'm also going to be doing something to uh, just give them a little bit more support so that we're not going to have them falling out <laughs> or our paper ripping. And again, I'm going to do the same thing, the quarter inch and the eighth inch. If all you have is the quarter inch, then that's all you use. Use the quarter inch and then use the glue. If you would prefer to put the quarter inch at the edge, I just find that the glue, to me, um, if the glue lifts a little bit, it's, it's easy just to pop a little bit of glue. I need to take this off first. Pop a little bit of glue back in there. If the score tape starts lifting, um, you know, then you're you're getting you've already got the dust in there and stuff, and it's just not gonna it's not gonna perform. It's gonna lose its its ability to really keep that, and it'll just get worse and worse. So that is one reason I put the glue. At the edge I mean there's just a it's just a little bit but it's just an added layer of protection and you know you don't have to get the glue you know, like I've, I missed a few spots which is totally fine so now I'm gonna flip the book this way because I still want to put them on the dots we're not butting this up to the fold line Let's make sure we've got it folded the right direction. So towards the front of the book, I'm going to grab the corners with my pinkies. I'm going to line it up with the other one, front and back, and then put it down on, on the dots. Oop. And the glue will allow you a little bit of leeway. And there we go. And lay that down ever so slowly. And let's burnish. Okay. 
really make sure we're getting good adherence. Like I said, these, these pages are very heavy. And we want to allow that glue some time to take hold before we flip the page over and start the next one. So, you know, let's just give this a moment to really do its thing. A little bit of gooba glue, a little bit of gooba glue. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And if you see it lifting up, then flip the page back over and give it another moment or two. Mine seems to be doing fine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on. So page three is right here. So here's page three. We are going to flip the hinge towards the back of the book and do it, uh, do the same thing. Let's get our quarter inch tape, put it on the edge. Oh, well, I'll just put glue there. And then the eighth of an inch. All right, burnish. Burnish well. Burnish, burnish, burnish. And if you've got any hanging off, um, you can fold it over. I, I do most of the time prefer to, whoops, to throw my scissors around. <laughs> I do prefer to cut it off. It, it, uh, if you fold it over, it, it can just, if that part is, uh, you know, got dirt on it or something, it, it could cause it to come up. So, it's all right if it's you know just on a piece of paper or whatever that that's not but this is this is holding your entire book together so <laughs> okay I'm gonna put some glue up went over my hinge a little bit there there we go again folding it towards the back I'm going to turn my book this way. Now this one is going to be a little tricky because you want it to line up with the others. So maybe a little ruler. Let's see, can I get this ruler to sit here to help me? It's just not enough hands. <laughs> So I know that I need it to be right there. And that is right on the money and then right right there. Okay. So let's lay it towards the front. And these are very thick pages. <laughs> very, very, very thick pages. We want to give that glue time to dry. All righty. Okay. A little leakage there, but that's all right. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna be putting paper on that. All right. So I'm gonna leave that right there, and we're going to do the last one. 
There we go. So this is page four. And I left the back of this one because I didn't know what I was going to put here so that I could kind of, uh, you know, make it match. So we are wonderful. We are doing wonderful. Okay, so I'm turning the hinge towards the front of the book. And that is the side that we're going to put. The, the back side of the hinge is where we're putting our score tape. Right on the edge. I am getting towards the end of this score tape. Will I have enough to get this page done? Uh, yes. I don't think I have much. Nope, that is it. I have about an inch left. Woohoo! Okay. So obviously for this book, you're probably going to need a little bit more than one roll. Although I don't believe that was a new roll that I started with. I think that was one I was using. So... One roll of score tape for this might work just fine. Okay, burnish really well. Take the score tape backing off. If there's anything hanging over, clip it off. And then we're having it folded towards the front of the book. And let's put some glue down. And for the most part, I am staying off of the tape as much as I can. Now down this side, I'm not. But this is what's giving us the ability to move it around a little bit without compromising all of the tape. Okay, so now let's move it this way. Took me a moment. <laughs> and this is the front and now I'm just going to match up the edges and put it down on those dots and there we go Okay, I'm going to, I've got a little bit of seepage already, and if I lay the page down on it, it will just kind of pull my paper. And I'm just going to burnish. I'm supporting it so that it's not going to be pulling against the glue and such. So it'll give that glue opportunity to dry. All right, let's see. I've got my little old dog out there fussing. I'm going to go have to go and check on him. So that will give us an opportunity to let this dry. So I'm just going to lay this right down. And I shall return momentarily. Okay. Oops, I forgot to put my mic on. Hold on just a second here. Okay, so uh, it's, it's thick. But it's going to definitely have room to put your pictures and goodies in. So now, the next step we're going to do... <coughs> excuse me. Um, is in between here, in between here, and in between here, we're going to put strips with eyelets. And I have a bunch of black eyelets. Um... I think in the past I told you guys uh, I got 500 pieces of black round um, off of Amazon. And they're not the greatest quality, but they were very inexpensive. I mean, they're still, they're still as strong, I guess, as any of the other ones. But they, um, you know, they're not, they're not together. So you have to pinch them together. A little bit of extra work. Okay. I am going to use my green paper and I'm going to cut three strips and where is my little cheat sheet and what did I figure out I think I figured out they were going to be five eighths um, let's see oh here we go I'm looking on the wrong side of my 
So in between is one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, five eighths because that's three quarters. So five eighths of an inch long. So let's get ourselves three of those. Five eighths of an inch long. And I think I'm going to need this for the first one. So we have one, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and we want to make sure these are exactly the same because of what we're going to be doing with them. So take your time and get this right. Okay, there's my first one. And, well, I'll be right back. How's that? Okay, so I've got all three of these, and I am going to put, oops, put um, some, uh, let's see what I got here. I'm going to put some binder clips down so that I make sure that I'm maintaining these three all in one you know, the, we wanted them exactly the same, and we want to get our measurements all correct for all three of them, so that we're working on the same. <coughs> Not that you're going to be able to really see them, you know, right next to each other or anything, but we might as well do it straight when we can, right? Right. <laughs> I'm just um, flicking down the bottom so that this will lay down just a little better. Okay, so um, I, I did some marks across here where I want them to have their holes. And uh, <clears throat> from the bottom, I went up 3 sixteenths. So from, from the bottom, you measure up 3 sixteenths. And put a hole and what we want first is to find our center and this is 5 8 so that's uh, let's see one two so it's in between a quarter and 3 8 so that would be two four five sixteenths so if you have a ruler at 5 16 that would be fantastic. If you don't, then just uh, make it work. So we're in between 1 quarter and 3 eighths. And that would be 5 16 Oop. So I am just going to get that going and I want to just make a, a light line down the center Oop, all the way down okay so now I've got my center and um, so I'm at 3 16 and that's where I'm going to make my first hole and then from there Get my ruler around so I can tell you guys as I go and then once I get them I will come back in centimeters just lay this on on my ruler okay and then we're going to go up from the 3 16 um, lay it at the bottom of your ruler okay and then I'm just going to tell you where they where they hit. So one and one fourth, two inches, two and three fourths, three and a half.
And I have this on the back side, just so you know. This one piece is on the back side, so that's why I'm writing on it. Um, let's see, that was three and a half. So, yeah, three and a half is the one we just did. And then four and a quarter. Five. Uh, five and three quarters. Let me see what this one is. This one is six and a half, seven and a quarter, eight, and eight and three quarters, and that is it. Okay, so we can just pop holes there, and I have. Oops, you can you can use whatever whatever you have. I've got this small round. It's a one sixteenth uh, hole punch, and I'm just going to punch these. You can use just your your paper piercer, whatever you want to use in order to make the holes in all of these. Do the best you can to keep it as lined up as possible. I mean, um, you know, I don't think anybody's going to get a ruler out and and see how how spot on we are. And this one I'm going to have to take off so I can get to these holes. And make sure your paper is staying together, centered, you know, all three of them still lined up properly. There we go, and we're moving along here. Good. We are going to need our paper piercer, or again, if you've got your big daddy, you can do it that way. Um, boo, 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 boo. I'm just keeping it in the center of my circle and in the same spot each one each time with on that line that I drew. So trying to keep a straight line. So I'm going to put this over here so I can get the last hole in. All right. So now we've got that. I'm not cutting off the top of the strip yet. We're leaving that. <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. We're leaving that um, alone for a moment. Okay. So now we have our three strips with our holes in them. Now we're going to open in between page one and two. And I'm going to lay my strip down to the pink paper, down to uh, the pink paper that I laid across the, um, the spine. And that's where I'm measuring up through there. And quite possibly, I'm going to have to move that hole in just a smidge that, huh. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I might, I might leave it there. I might not. But now what we're going to do is center it side to side. And we can go ahead and glue this down. And then we'll make our holes and we won't have to worry about it moving. Um, or we could lay it down. And we could take a pencil, once we have it lined up, and fill in the hole with the pencil so it makes where the holes are supposed to be in our book. Because we are going to push this all the way through the book. And hope that we get a little tail. 
<laughs> if not, I might have to rethink this, but I believe it will go all the way through. And I am going to mark that one, but I just don't know if I'm going to... I think I'm going to move that top one down to uh, so that it's on the gray. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Well... Actually, I think I'm just going to forget the last hole. I'm not going to move everything. I'm just going to forget this last hole because I, I don't really want it on, on the pink. But we'll see when we when we get there. We'll, we'll see. Maybe we will want to do that. Okay. So let me see first how easy it's going to be to use my piercer. A little bit of um, cleanup here. Housekeeping, housekeeping, housekeeping. I need all that. This can go over here. This can go over here. Throw this away. A little housekeeping. <laughs> I'm going to put my um, pin back in my glue, which I should have done before I went and checked on my puppy. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see how easy this is going to be. We want to go straight through. Okay. There we're through. And... Let me just check this for size before I move forward because I might have to I might have to change my mind if these aren't going to fit through, but I have a feeling they will. Let's pinch those together. Even though there's one more piece of paper, that's not going to add much. I want to see how much is sticking through here. Not quite not quite thick enough yet to slide that through and it's not going to move the cart the uh so i'm going to go back through the hole and get a little wider on that side there we go all right now well, where'd i put it right here let's get it going i did hit record didn't i yes come on you should be able to get through there now. Okay. And yes, I have some tail left. So that's going to be just fine. I'll pull it back out. <coughs> so I am going to go through. And I am going to make a mark on all of my por boards. And then I'm going to... Uh, I'm probably going to glue these down. Just because going in afterwards is just not going to be that easy to line it up. So go ahead and glue them down. Forget the last hole. We can add it later if we want to. But um, glue it down so it matches the paper. Make your holes in each one. We're going to do between page 1 and 2. We're going to do a 5 8 inch strip. Don't do anything with the top. Just leave that sticking out there and just go from the bottom up. So between um, 1 and 2, between 2 and 3, you're going to go do it here. And between 3 and 4, you're going to do it here. Now, obviously, this one is not, is not actually going to be doing anything for us. It's just going to be decorative. The other two are actually going to help keep our pages uh, in our book. Okay? So I'm going to do all that, and I will come back before I do anything else. All right, guys. Hey guys, I just wanted to um, give you uh, another clue. We're going to go ahead and, and glue these down. Only glue down. You'll start at the pink at the bottom. So you'll be going past where the pages are onto the pink. And you're going to glue it on. Make your holes. But only glue it on up to the, to the page line. Don't glue past the page line because that will give us a little bit of an edge if I decide we want to cut this off. Or if we're going to utilize it um, with the other part that I'm going to do. So um, forget the other hole. Only glue it to the gray. And if we decide we're going to cut that off, that will give us a little bit of wiggle room. Okay? Thanks, guys. Be back.